art is about technology too. I mean, the great artists were 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 technical over history. Leonardo, or you know, um, boy, whatever you think of, you know, Ansel Adams was also a chemical engineer, and I just did art because I thought. Honestly, the electrical engineering curriculum, my parents were helping pay for, for college and they wanted me to get a degree in electrical engineering and I thought it would have suppressed, it was suppressing every ounce of creativity I might have had and I'm not really saying I had much, but I, I sort of did art just to, for therapy because I think that in the early years in science or perhaps particularly in, in, in engineering education, it's, it's quite a grind and it, it's it's um really uh, boring and I just remember like these inclined plane. I grew up on a farm and they you're supposed to study like how a box slid down an inclined plane with a certain friction and I just thought I've never seen a box slide down straight in the friction you know it always falls off the inclined plane in a different way why doesn't this model that and I just I was so frustrated with the way. Um, my experience was of the engineering curriculum. I, I, I took the art and really it's because I fell in, I made my first hologram when I was a kid and um, wanted to understand about it from all sides. But artists say, it's funny because I spent a lot of time in the art world after that. Artists say, you know, engineers solve problems other people give them to solve. And artists say, you know, they solve their own problem. And engineers like, and they call engineers technicians, and they include like MIT professors as technicians. And I kept saying, well, don't call an MIT professor a technician unless you intend to insult that person. But, you know, <laughs> whatever. It's just different languages. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of, of the freedom in, in art combining with the techniques and skills that you learn in engineering that you can combine. And I think that it makes a lot of sense to, to combine them. A lot of people, especially young in, in, in college, in the early years, that are practicing art often don't have much technical skill. And they keep saying, well, we can't have that because that, then I, it'll delude my vision and I can't do it. And I think, you know, no, that, you can actually learn how to do it. And then you'll have a more informed vision. And they think, you know, so I, I sort of disagree. But there's a study, there was a study about artists showing, um, some of the conceptual artists do their great work when they're young, and, and a lot of the artists that were more uh, about, um, uh, you know, technique. Uh, Cezanne, for example, did his best work when he was, was older, and that there's sort of the experimentalist versus the, the, the conceptual sort of, wow, a totally new way to, to look at the world, um, where the, the technique actually isn't important. It's, um, you know, perhaps perhaps in fitting with that. I wish I could remember. There's a book on it. It's been, um, I can send you a link. I can look it up. Mm -hmm.